name is Jessica Pepper. Um, I'm a threat operations analyst at Macy's. Um, that's pretty much a fancy way of saying I work in the SOC. Um, and I've been at Macy's now for 10 years um, and obviously started in the mailroom. Um, I don't know if you guys saw on Twitter, it was a couple months ago, I think, the hashtag my weird path to InfoSec. And I was like, wow, there's so many awesome stories out there, so many unique paths. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to share mine with you guys today. Um, so like I said, I started in the mailroom. Um, and it was really awesome to start there because, you know, I didn't realize when I first started there at Macy's, it's like, oh, I'm just getting another job, it's going to pay the bills. But then I realized I worked with a really lot of really smart people, you know. Um, and it was a good chance to start networking with, you know, the operations teams that are uh, sending equipment in and out of the building um, and really get to know them. And, you know, I started realizing I could do that. So I put myself through school. Um, and I don't know if you guys have ever done full-time job and full-time school at the same time. It's pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> so. You know, a lot of people are coming at me and saying, oh, you're so tenacious, you're so, you know, motivated and all this good stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just really tired. <laughs> um, so eventually, uh, you know, I got noticed, I got to networking with a lot of people, obviously put myself through school. And I ended up getting the opportunity to get into field services. And field services, you know, it's kind of like help desk, desk site support, um, and a little bit of the stores here and there. Um, and what was really cool about field services was I got to network more, not just the delivery and ops teams, you know. I got to start talking to developers and app creators and all this fun stuff. And what was really cool too was I started creating my personal brand. Um, and what I mean by personal brand is like, you know, what are you known for? You know, people started coming to me because, you know, I knew who everybody was. I knew who owned this application. I knew who ran this. And you know, I came, became a go-to guy saying, you know, well, if Jessica doesn't really know it, she knows who does. So that was part of my personal brand. But the other thing about my personal brand is, you know, especially when it makes like a discount, I really like shoes. <laughs> so um, what's really funny is, uh, you know, I work, you know, walking around, and people will say hi to me and all that good stuff. But I notice, especially lately, you know, the first thing people do is they look down at my feet before they look at my face, <laughs> just to see what kind of shoes I'm wearing. Um, and just to prove that point home, it's like, you know, when I got super excited when I found out it was a speaker, so of course I posted a book face. And uh, that was the first thing that people responded with was, you know, what shoes are you going to wear? Um, so then, it's like, this sounds fantastic, you know, I worked from the mailroom all the way up to field services. Um, there were opportunities that came along, and one of them, was um, you know getting into network operations, um, and like this says, it's, <laughs> life is all about rainbows and unicorns. I wish um, the opportunity came up, and I went for it. You know, um, I did want to expand my horizon and get out of field services, but unfortunately, uh, what came down to you is I was not a good fit, um, and that was kind of disappointing to me. You know, it's like okay, so what can I do to do better? Um, you know, what? How can I? change myself so that if the opportunity comes up again in the future to make myself a good fit for this. So I had a conversation with their management teams and all that good stuff and got to know, yeah, okay, so let's do this. They said, you know, work with my projects, you know, get into uh, working more with the teams and all that good stuff. So I, that's exactly what I did in field services. Um, I ended up, you know, jumping for the projects, you know, working on wireless, um, also working with, you know, deployment of, you know, a new uh, security agent, of course we all need more agents, right? Um, so I got to work with multiple di different teams at that point, and that's when the opportunity actually came up, oh sorry, <laughs> opportunity came up to actually start working in information security. And that one I was, you know, after having gone through that first rejection, I was like, oh, you know, let's just go for it anyway. And it actually panned out, you know? It was fantastic. Um, I did have one really bad interview and I was scared. <laughs> But um, it worked out and that was, you know, obviously awesome. Um, one of the first questions that I got that was the hardest for me to answer when I got into security was, how did you do that? You know, how did you go from being in the mail room and, you know, working your way through field and then finally getting to security? And I looked at the guy and I was just like, you know, kind of like if you have kids, I don't know how many of you guys have kids, but you know, you ask them what they want for dinner and they kind of give you that. I don't know. So that's kind of what I did with him, but I, I you know, recovered and said, 
you know, let's go ahead and set up a meeting next week for about 20 minutes so we can talk about it, you know. So that gave me a whole week to kind of figure it out uh, myself, you know, self-reflection and trying to, you know, actually be able to communicate exactly how it was done. So that's where the standing on the shoulders of giants comes in. It's like, okay, so now I've got like this unofficial mentee, you know, and getting into being a mentor, a men, you know, having mentees, you know, doing sponsorships, peer sponsorships, and all that fun stuff was absolutely amazing to me about having a mentor or having a mentee is how much more you learn. Um, not just with, you know, the technologies and everything that you're working with or the current job, but you actually get more of the communication skills and you get into um, the soft skills uh, and, and just, you know, learning about the business as a whole, too. It doesn't matter where you're at. Um, so, you know, obviously there's direct mentors and mentees, right? Those are the people that you would go and sit down with and say, okay, how are you doing? Let's get this, you know, going. Let's guide you through, um, you know, getting to where you want to be with your career. Um, but the other cool thing is there's indirect mentors um, out there. And what I mean by indirect is people that don't even know that they're your mentor. <laughs> and most of these people can be found on social media. Uh, we have a fantastic, fantastic security community all over social media. Um, Twitter's one of them, you know, there's a Reddit community, um, there's Discord channels, there's Slack channels. And what's really great about the security community, I'm sure you guys all know this, is, you know, it's like a big family. Um, everybody's willing to help everybody else and improve and learn and grow. Um, and that's where, you know, obviously opportunity comes up where, you know, there are opportunities everywhere you go. That some of them might be right in front of your face and you're like, oh, hi. Um, and other times, you know, you kind of have to chase after them. But, um, you know, they're always there, regardless of whether it's just learning uh, new things or, um, you know, just looking for opportunities is always there. Um, obviously, learning and growing. There's, it, with security, it's so fast-paced, and you guys know that again. But um, it's, you know, always something new to learn. Uh, you know, whether it be through something that some article somebody posts online or, you know, there's always really cool things out there to see. And then, oh, the other thing, yeah, always tell people they're awesome. You know, one, one cool thing about, you know, working with security people is, you know, we all do awesome things. And, but how often do we say, hey man, thanks, you're awesome. Um, so, you know, being able to tell somebody that, you know, seeing that smile and they feel good about, you know, what they did is always pretty awesome. So, um, that's all I've got. <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, again, uh, I'm at, on Twitter, uh, at SecPep, and if you want to check out my LinkedIn, I'm uh, at Pepper J. Thank you guys.